there's been a lot of new developments in the field of tech over the past four days and if you're someone who's working in tech field or someone who's looking to find jobs in tech related stuff you should be aware of all the things that are going on right now yes i'm talking about the open ai drama sam altman greg brookman got fired and then they got rehired by microsoft and a lot of other stuff happened and if you don't know about it well this video is perfect for you because i'm gonna go through the entire timeline and i'm gonna talk about all the things that have happened in the past three four days and towards the last of this video i'm gonna share some of my personal views and thoughts and why i feel things happened the way they did so let's get started okay so it all started on 17th november 2023 17th november 2023 openai posted this blog just may they mentioned that there is a leadership transition and basically they are firing sam altman their ceo now this is not very usual okay i mean ceo getting fired when was the last time you heard about it oh yes right apple but that's a different story this time they fired a ceo as a bina kisi ko badai immediately by just a blog post and when people got to know about it people were I don't know, confused, furious, and a lot of emotions were there because Sam Altman has been the face of OpenAI. In fact, he has been the face of artificial intelligence and machine learning in general. He is that guy, you know. He started OpenAI. He co-founded it along with Greg Brookman, who, by the way, also got demoted from the board. So on 17th, what happened is basically, according to Greg Brookman, what happened basically is, let me read through his tweet. So on 17th, what basically happened is Sam got a text from Elia. Ilya is one of the chief executive board member who has control over all of the things that go around in OpenAI because he is a board member and he has a lot of investment in it. So Sam got a text from Ilya asking him to join a Google Meet. <laughs> Very funny because they are funded by Microsoft and they're using Google Meet. But yeah, Sam joins the Google Meet and he's being told by the board members that you're fired. Imagine Sam Altman, the face of AI in the entire world right now. He as a in just a span of a second he gets a google meet and they tell him that you're fired think about it if you're a software engineer working in any company how easy it is to replace you i mean if sam altman can get replaced and fired just like this because i don't know kal ko mere ko google meet link aata hai and they go like you know you're fired because i'm so replaceable if sam altman is replaceable i am also replaceable anyways and then after this greg gets a call again google meet and he's being told that he's no longer part of the board so basically what this board means is board is a collection of people who are chief investors in openai and they control all the operations related to openai now openai is a non profit organization right so they need funding they need money and the way they do that is by investments from people and people who invest in openai they control how things would work in openai now the funny thing is that sam altman had zero shares in openai and that's why sam got fired and those people in the board they didn't even have to consider or uh, talk to sam about it because sam didn't have equity so yeah they fired sam and greg resigned because greg and sam were the co-founders of openai they are really good friends and they said you know if you're if you're firing sam as a bina batai i am also leaving so greg also left and all of this happened on 17th november so greg and sam altman two of the faces of ai in the world right now they left openai which is the leading artificial intelligence and machine learning related company right now as soon as this happened the entire twitter just got flooded with a lot of tweets about uh, sam altman about openai people were of course in support of sam altman because he's been such a character over the past few years i would say and abhi recently uh, openai had their dev day jisme sam presented a bunch of new features uh, related to chat gpt and people were very happy with the progress they were making and of course we had chat gpt imagine chat gpt nahi hota to kitna mushkil hoti life currently so yeah pretty much every tweet i would see on twitter for the past two days was in support of sam altman and greg brookman now is puri story mein we're missing a very important uh, player which is microsoft microsoft has like 49% equity in openai again openai is a non profit organization but it also has a section which works for microsoft and they are in partnership with it in such a way that microsoft is allowed to use all their models and stuff and that's how microsoft has all these cool things like copilot bing chat dali and all this uh, you know other crazy stuff now microsoft has 49% equity in that particular section of openai the one that is working for profit 
anyways it's a little complex i'm gonna show you the internal organizational chart how openia is divided and everything it doesn't make sense to me if it makes sense to you please let me know how these things are working but what i understand is that microsoft should have had some say in firing off sam altman but it turns out satya nadella who is the ceo of microsoft he had no idea that aisa kuch hua hai and now since satya nadella had no idea that sam altman was getting fired people were speculating crazy stuff people were like andar hi andar open ai mein kuch to hua hai jiski wajah se the board was like oh fuck sam altman kuch to gadbad kar diya usko jaldi se nikal dete hain but wo kya what happened exactly and that is the most important thing that is what we are supposed to talk about in this video so now that we know how sam altman and greg brookman got fired how microsoft had no idea about it now we can talk about why i think all of this happened okay and then we'll continue with the timeline and see ke abhi hum kis state mein hai right so the way that i like to think about the entire drama that has happened over the past 4 uh, days is that i believe there are two sets of people here one is the people who wants rapid development in ai who support that we need to push to get to the agi level that is one of the goals of open ai in fact that is the primary goal of open ai right now they want to achieve agi agi is artificial general intelligence a level of artificial intelligence which is as good as humans so they want to make a second human okay that is their goal now the first set of people who i like to call them as accelerators these people want to push rapid development in the field of ai they want to make models real quick they want to uh, improve the quality of hardware they have they want to you know reach the level of agi as soon as possible why we'll talk about it and then there are second set of people who wants to slow it down who are scared who are basically telling us ki agar hum agi pe pahunch gaye that would be bad for humanity because imagine think about it if a computer can think as good as a human and humans created computers a computer can create another computer you get the point and now this is not about computers this is about ai so if a ai model gets as good as a human brain uh, it's going to create a lot of ai models and then mm, the second set of people say if that happens humanity is doomed and i don't i don't completely disagree with this statement however i really like the point that accelerators make accelerators tell us ki see if we slow down the growth okay if we uh, put some rules and regulations on the uh, leading research organizations like open ai in pe agar hum rules and regulations laga dete hain so they have to slow it down and now if we slow down what are the chances that other people in the world chupchap se they are pushing forward towards agi so what it basically means is ke agar hum rules and regulations lagayenge to slow down the growth in field of ai to openly to nahi kar payega koi and since openly nahi kar payega to log chup chap se karenge because you cannot stop it no the thing is making a great machine learning model just takes two things it takes a lot of good resources in terms of hardware and some researchers right that's all you need now you cannot stop a group of people who have a lot of money so if you put rules and regulations on open source organization like open ai then you would not be able to get to a point of agi openly but instead secretly people will get to the point of agi and what that basically means is the chances of people who are doing it in secret turning out to be evil are higher so basically agar koi secretly agi bana leta hai to they are going to misuse it right so instead of them reaching a point where they can say ke mere paas agi hai let us reach the point jahan pe hamare paas agi hai if we get to the agi point first we can figure out how to control it and that's why accelerators say rapid development karo jitna jaldi ho sakta hai utna jaldi naye models banao you know just go crazy and sam altman is one of those people okay now open ai board is shit scared and they are one of the other group people they don't want the rapid development at least not as rapid as sam is pushing it because over the past few years sam has been investing a lot you know sam has been using a lot of resources to reach to agi and he's been training he's been coming up with these new models abhi gpt5 aane wala hai soon if you don't know about it and people are speculating that gpt5 has performed way better than it was supposed to and that scared the shit out of these 
board and that's why they fired sam altman now these are some of the theories that are going on in the internet i'm not asking you to believe any of them but i'm just putting it out there so that you know that these kind of people exist and what are the harms and what are the reasons why people you know even think of stopping the ai development right now okay now monday happens a lot of people from open ai they go like you know what we're going to resign if you don't bring back sam altman we are going to resign and if uh, the entire group of researchers who are working in open ai if they resign to open ai nahi bachana so this becomes a problem now so these people in open ai researchers they signed a memo asking the board to resign and bring back sam altman and greg Now, this is such a big deal because this basically means that you are removing all the you know board members and you are bringing back the ceo and that's a lot of messy stuff and it didn't happen of course but what happened is that satya nadella ceo of microsoft played the best move by any ceo over the past two decades i'd say see as soon as sam altman got fired from open ai उसी दिन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट का स्टॉक ड्रॉप ओवर टू परसेंट थ्री परसेंट बिकॉज ऑफकोर्स सैम ऑल्टमैन वॉज द फेस ऑफ ए आई एंड अगर सैम ऑल्टमैन नहीं है ओपन ए आई में तो ओपन ए आई का वैल्यूएशन गोज डाउन एंड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट हैज फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट इक्विटी इन ओपन ए आई सो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट का वैल्यूएशन वैन डाउन एंड नाउ यू एज अ सी ओ इफ यूर अ सी ओ ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट यू हैव टू कम अप विद समथिंग जिससे यू कैन ब्रिंग बैक द वैल्यूएशन पॉजिटिव पी आर एंड स्टफ यू नो हाउ डू यू डू दैट वेल वेरी इजी यू हायर सैम ऑल्टमैन So Satya Nadella made an announcement that Sam Altman is getting rehired into Microsoft, and now he is going to work with Microsoft. And Microsoft will have their own research team who is going to work closely with OpenAI. However, Sam will lead the team. This basically means that Sam Altman got a new job, and probably a better job because I'm pretty sure Sam Altman didn't get hired as a as just a machine learning engineer. No, he got hired with a lot of shares, lot of equity in the. Microsoft organization as well as he'll have a lot more control and access over the resources of Microsoft which is good for him if he's trying to push for rapid development well open ai you just fucked up because see open ai mein jab tak wo tha tab tak board could have at least controlled him a little bit and asked him to slow it down thoda bahut at least right however now that he is in Microsoft well Microsoft is not a non profit organization they have a lot of resources they have a lot of money and if Sam Altman is going to lead their AI research team well they are going to push towards AGI as fast as they can because Microsoft ko usse fayda hoga right Microsoft ke tools better ho jayenge Microsoft ki sari cheeze better ho jayengi so Microsoft ka fayda hoga Sam Altman ka fayda hoga jiska loss ho raha hai wo hai open AI and you know what happens 700 out of 770 people in open AI signed a memo saying that we are going to resign if sam doesn't come back and this is still going on you know right now as i'm talking open ai and sam altman they are still fighting back you know hame wapas chahiye so some people in open ai are saying we want sam altman back or we resign a lot of people have already resigned and they joined microsoft and if this continues to happen what basically is the crux of entire thing is that microsoft has got open ai for free they had 49% equity in uh, open ai but now they have got the 100% power over open ai how because everyone in open ai has just shifted to microsoft now or are trying to shift okay <sighs> that's a lot of information lot of information and all of this happened in the past 3 4 days i guess so two things that i can tell you right now that would help you in future is one if you are not using twitter please start using twitter and start following people in tech and second thing that i want to tell you shit that was bad and the second thing that i want to tell you is go and read about ai news tech news in general and try to keep yourself updated with it in my last video i told you that tech is a very fast paced industry and a lot of things happen every single day you get a new framework someone gets fired leadership transition happen and a new gpt model comes out all in a span of one month so yeah tech is very fast growing try to keep yourself updated as much as you can it's going to help you a lot Also it's always a good thing to have opinions about something so make your opinion form your opinion but the only way you can form your opinion is if you have enough information do your research and form your opinions i'm going to tell you my opinion on this entire thing right now it's wednesday 22nd november and i'm going to make a small prediction here my prediction is that sam altman and greg and all the team will join the open ai back in the next 10 days or so and uh, they're not going to stick with microsoft and they're going to join open ai back whatever happens to the board i don't care but sam will go back to the mic open ai thingy because open ai is sam's brain child he literally started it from scratch okay so right now it's still 22nd november and almost 12 pm 
uh, at the time when I was recording this video, it was early morning around 8 a.m. And uh, we have some new developments. And guess what? Sam Altman has joined OpenAI back. <laughs> and uh, the board has resigned and we have a new board and Sam Altman is back. So, good job, Tarun. Good prediction. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to make this video so the people who are following me, at least they are aware of all the things that are happening. By no means whatever I've said is accurate. By no means you need to trust everything that I say. But what you can do is, after watching this video, go and do your research and, you know, find out how you feel about this. Bye.